Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and today this video is about Microsoft's Windows 11 Insider Preview Build, 22624.1465, which is released to the beta channel. As a reminder, insiders previously on Build, 22623 will automatically get moved to Build, 22624 via an enablement package. The enablement package artificially increments the build number, for the update with new features getting rolled out and turned on to make it easier to differentiate from devices with the update with features off by default. Insiders who landed in the group with new features turned off by default build, 22621 can check for updates, and choose to install the update that will have features rolling out build 22624. Moving ahead, and talking about what's new in this build, firstly we have live captions in more languages. Live captions help everyone, and people who are deaf or hard of hearing, read live captions in their native language. In this build, live captions gains the ability to also provide captions in Chinese, simplified in traditional, French, German, Italian, Japanese, Portuguese, Brazil, Spanish and other English dialects. More languages will be added as they become available. Next to that, we have updated touch keyboard settings. Microsoft is introducing updates for the new touch keyboard setting that replaces the Show the touch keyboard when there's no keyboard attached checkbox under settings, time and language, typing, touch keyboard, with the new drop down menu with three options, to control whether tapping an edit control should launch the touch keyboard. Never suppresses the touch keyboard, even when no hardware keyboard is attached. When no keyboard attached will show the touch keyboard, only when the device is used as a tablet without the hardware keyboard. Always will show the touch keyboard, even when the hardware keyboard is attached, next to that. We have cloud suggestion in simplified Chinese IME, Microsoft is trying out some changes, that will allow you to easily type popular words in simplified Chinese. The changes include an improved cloud suggestion and an integrated search suggestion. The cloud suggestion adds the most relevant word from Bing to the email candidate window. Also updated the backend logic so that can provide better, fresh suggestions. Lastly, we have multi-app kiosk mode. Multi-app kiosk mode is a lockdown feature for Windows 11 that allows an IT administrator to select a set of allowable apps to run on the device, while all other functionalities are blocked. This enables you to create multiple different apps, and access configurations for different user types, all on a single device. So, these were some of the new things and features introduced to this build. Moving forward, and talking about the changes in this build, for the taskbar and system tray, Microsoft has added a glanceable VPN status into the system tray, when connected to a recognized VPN profile. The VPN icon, a small shield, will be overlaid in your system accent color over the active network connection. Next to that, the redesigned and app help page in voice access introduced with build, 22624.1391 now includes all commands, and supplementary information accurately. Talking about the fixes for both build 22621.1465 and build 22624.1465. This update implements phase 3 of distributed component object model, DCOM, hardening. After you install this update, you cannot turn off the changes using the registry key. Also, this update addresses an issue that affects a computer account in Active Directory. When you reuse an existing computer account to join an Active Directory domain, joining fails. This occurs on devices that have installed Windows updates dated October 11, 2022, or later. So, that was all from Microsoft for this build. If you want to know more, follow the link to the official Microsoft blog, from the description. Hope it was useful. Consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any questions, just comment down below. Thanks for watching, and have a great day ahead.